Sounds like it's working now. Let me check with uh, my admin if they can hear me. Well, thank you, admin. Um, that is his new name now. My friend is now uh, a stream admin, as per my decree, as uh, the Fay Court ruling here. Well, I'm glad that we finally have vocals now, which means I have killed my voice for nothing for all of the voice acting I've been doing, but that is a-okay. Um, well, now that people can hear me, because apparently <laughs> Cow rules me as well as Pouty Peacock, thank you for following. Thank you a lot. Um, just wanted to say that because I said it before, but I didn't realize the auto audio wasn't going. Listen, admin, things happen, mistakes happen. It's okay, we learn lessons. But now we're on the second case, and now you can hear my terrible voice acting, guys. This works out great. Thank you, Kyle Rules Me. I appreciate it. Thank you for creeping this whole time without listening to any audio. I appreciate it. <coughs> well, <clears throat> let's get back to the cases and uh, we're going to hear my voice acting. Uh, my voice was starting to actually die a little bit um, in the last part. Uh, I've been trying to do this husky voice for uh, Mr. Detective Gumshoe here. So, now that everything's working, let's start this again. Let me get some water. <coughs> Clear my throat a little. Okay. Ah, oh, don't talk about him that way. You make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. So, Edgeworth is on this one? He hasn't lost a case since he became prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. I mean, 20 is a young age. I, I take that. Of course there are rumors of back alley deals and fortune. Uh, you see, this, this makes me think once we see him, he's definitely the murderer that we saw. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. So if he hates crime that much, why he's committing crimes? <coughs> Oy. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. Yeah, you're a defense lawyer. It was good. It's bound to happen at some point. Well, let's see. Well, we talked to him. We got all those. Do we have anything to present to him that would... No, we really gathered evidence more so from him. So I don't really want to give him any evidence. So I think we're good at this point. Oh, wait, Edgeworth. So he's not Grossberg. I mean, that could be his name, Edward Grossberg. Let's try going to his office one more time. No, nobody's here. Um, let's go to detention center. Let's talk about our family. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when... I was very young, and I don't know where my mother is. Oh, so your mother, well, she's a spirit medium. She's probably somewhere hiding out. So she could be still alive. This is true. The women of my family have been medians for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in a incident Oh, have a good night, Cal Rules Me. Thank you for creeping. Thank you for uh, dealing with the silence. Have a great night. There was a man, and he... He... He ruined our mother's life. Ruined? It's a pretty strong word. After that, she disappeared. Several years after that. My sister announced she would become a lawyer, and she left the mountain. Oh, so was she trying to find the man who did this to her to her mother? So, you live by yourself? Yes! I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I 
had to become independent or I would lose my powers. Wait, how, what, how does that have to do with your powers? What? Uh, I do feel bad for her, but like, how does that have to do with her powers? So, who was this man who, um, ruined your mother? That's a weird sentence. About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite the stir. Everyone's talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait. They didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow, so, uh, what happened? The case was solved. We thought. You, you thought? The man my mother helped, the police captured, was innocent. Huh. The police cons consultation with a medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. I mean, that, that makes sense for credibility. But a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud and that the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I, I see. White. E excuse me, White? That was his name, my sister told me. White? Hmm. All right, well, the murderer did say something like white, blue, and red in the at one point. Is there anything I can present her with? Um... Oh, I was supposed to get this to the police officer! I gotta go move back. I'm wasting valuable time here. I was supposed to present that to him to get the cell phone records. All right, let's do this. I was wondering, did you see Maya Faye's cell phone? Oh, that? I have that. Oh, wrong voice. <laughs> Do you think you could give it back? <laughs> sure, I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyers. Oh, he's on to me. I, uh, he seems like a straight shooter. I feel like maybe uh, we should tell him straight, especially since he thinks lawyers are tricky. Oh, he might. Oh, no, it's just, you know, detective. Nope, I know nothing, pal. That cell phone has a lot of numbers on it, like her boyfriend's. A cell phone holds all a little girl's sweetest and spiciest. God, what is these sentences? <clears throat> you know, you're, you're trying to confuse me. Sorry, pal. I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive! You're quite the detective. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, here, you can have her phone back. There weren't any suspicious call records in there after all. <coughs> yeah, he was not paying attention to the recorded conversations. Let's see. One more thing I want to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on taking to the uh, to that witness. <coughs> oh. His voice is killing me. It seems like uh, he might be a main person. No influence in the witness with your Laura Lee ways, pal. I forget about her. She's she interesting right there. Her name is April May. April May June? Like, what? I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you, you just told me her name, Miss Miss May. I mean, you, you did, my guy. So you sent her home already, then? Ha ha ha! You trying to your lurely tricks on me now? <coughs> oh, this voice.
I was gonna say, so we know she's still in the hotel across the way. Like, that ain't... I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal! Alright, so let's go visit her. I do want to check this cell phone information. Oh, I just had to click it. That was easy. Okay, so this is the conversation we, we saw in the early beginning. All right, so we have, we know this. Oh wait, what time was it? 9.27 a.m. So it was early in the day. Do, 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 do. Where am I? There we are. All right, backspace. So let's go to that hotel. So we actually do a little investigating on our side, it seems like, in this. So... Oh, gotta click here. <coughs> September 6th, Gatewater Hotel, room 303. Oh god, what is this Neko Neko bullshit? Well, hello there, handsome! Oh god. Um, hi, uh, smooth, right? Real smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. Oh, this voice is also gonna make me hate myself. He said, don't say nothing to the lawyer, pal. <laughs> oh, God, I want to die. <laughs> I mean, he is a lawyer. It makes sense. Yeah, you, did you hear the voice I made for her, uh, uh, my guy? Yeah, we'll wait till you hear it in a moment. Gee, this is all like something out of a movie! It's all so exciting, I can hardly contain myself! God, I hate this voice. Oh, let me go freshen up so I can look the part of this beautiful eyewitness! I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. I, I agree, it's gonna be us, like, ugh. Listen, you should- I wish the volume was working from the beginning. You should have heard us. Uh, also, they killed off the chief! I like the chief. Alright, let's examine. Well, she has something out of this drawer right here. The, I, uh, yeah, it looks like a screwdriver. I wonder- let's take a look. Oh yeah, maybe we shouldn't- oh god. What are you doing? No touching! God. She twitching. You see the little twitches right there? I mean, I'm sure sure she's in on it too anyway, but still. Oh, bad boy! Oh god, I hate this voice. You you really shouldn't pry around in other people's room now. Rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Uh, upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. Yeah, like she definitely dropped her persona there for a second. Right? I want to examine what's in the- I can't, though. She's right there. Alright, let's talk to her about what she witnessed. Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Oh, observe. Incident, you sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. God, I hate this voice. <clears throat> Better not encourage her. Or, um, you know that thing that occurred, um, happened the other day, the- the bad thing. What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it. Pretty please? Let me see, um, well, dream on! If you want to know, you'll just have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer! Oh boy. Miss May. Um, could you just, uh, who exactly are you? Oh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? Oh, God, please, no. N -n -n no, hey, I I'm just doing my job here. <laughs> you know, you're cute when you blush. God, I hate this voice. I agree, it's it's br it's boobs, bro. It, it's, it's that chest. That is the personality here for this one. I mean, she's also smart. If she is a killer or helping a killer, using sex appeal is a good way to distract someone. Um, oh, wrong voice. Um, hmm. Right, uh, can you just tell me what it is, uh, you do? Well, no. <laughs> and you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh, boy. 
Oh, this room. I see there are two glasses on the table. Yeah, probably for her guy that was here previously, or the detective. Someone's staying here with you? Oh, what amazing powers of observation! You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television! God, I want to die. Oh no, not me. I'm, er, uh, just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage? <laughs> Miss May doesn't like nosy little lawyers. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, obviously she's guilty of something. I don't even think there's anything good to present to her, because we don't really have too much information on her. And she won't really let us examine the room. So we're really not going to get much from her. I guess we should go back to the detention center? No, there's not really much we can do here either. Oh, uh, we could go talk. Maybe the detective will give something up. He's, he's not... He's not really good at keeping his mouth shut. No, shit, maybe he is. Hmm. Is there anything I can present? I don't think I have anything to present. Hmm. Be just, we go back to the law office, but I don't think anything. He's still out. Okay, so we did make the good decision of <clears throat> gumshoe moment. <clears throat> oh, so he's a loud person. Well, we know he's extravagant. Oh, oh, this is not what I pictured when I thought I would see this man. Aha, uh -huh, so uh, you're the one uh, they say have been looking for me. He seems a little hoity-toity. Uh, yes, that's me. Yeah, he definitely is a lot grandier. Look, look at this this tie. And, like, he definitely has, like, a little gold button here. He has, like, a ruby. That's definitely a real gem right there. Hmm. That badge on your collar. Uh, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Y yes, well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please proceed. Oh, well. Then, yeah. How come no one could... I agree. How come nobody could get in touch with you? Hmm. Something the matter? You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it! Um, well, well sir, actually, it, it's about Maya. Maya Fay. Aw, he got a little worried. Ah, yes. Uh, Maya Fay. Go on. It is a little bit of a strange reaction, but I mean, if he's been family friends with them. Ah, cha-cha! I'm really quite busy here, so- oh, so he's not even gonna help her. I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. W wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Er, um, he definitely got paid off. Er, anyway. I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry, end of discussion. What's going on? He refused me before I could even get a chance to ask him. What What do I tell Maya? I'm going to present the note to him. Do I not have the note? Did she not write a note? Am I... No, I'm going to question this man. Can I question him? Oh, uh, do we want to butter him up with the paper thing? No. What, why are you refusing? How can you just refuse like that? Please, tell me. Why won't you take the case? Um, mm, <coughs> well, you see, uh, it's just, I'm busy, you see. But the client is Mia Fey's sister. Hmm, ahem. Oh, Shelly Von Miller is now following. Thank you so much for the, fo uh, the follow, Shelly. Uh, thank you, please enjoy. We now have volume again. Hmm, <coughs> Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, um, of course I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry, goodbye. Creep. <laughs> Phoenix is not holding back. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. Arr, I think not. Huh? Did you say something? I think not, I said. Wh what do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. 
but I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I... I cannot say. Yeah, he's definitely being blackmailed or something. I beg your pardon, but could you leave now? I have nothing more to discuss with you. We have things to discuss, sir. Something is amiss here. We're going to talk about Mia and then that painting. How did you know Miss Faye? She, uh, worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. <coughs> oh, my voice is dying. I drink some water. That's, uh, quite a painting. Ah, you noticed! It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the seas, the wee of the straw hat. Oh, he loves this painting. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. L nobody wants your painting, my guy. Yeah, I wasn't interested either, Phoenix. We got the same wavelength on that one. It's not for sale. Oh, nobody wants your painting. I'm not buying it. Gee, I agree. Yeah, like, dude, we don't want your painting. Alright, I don't have anything I really want to present to him. Man really does love his painting. Like, I thought he was going to tell me this painting was him in his younger days, but, uh, no, he just, he really loves his painting. You'd buy, it. listen, you can have that painting in your house. It looks like it's a good, like, good, like, six-foot painting. Uh, it's, it's, that's, that's big. Oh, no. I already examined. Wrong button. <laughs> Ace Attorney merch, bro. I might make myself a little ace attorney suit for this at some point. Uh, because one case took a little while, so I'm like, oh, maybe this will be an ongoing chronicles. Let's see. Let's move. So let's go talk to her in the detention center and, and tell her that the supposed friend is not helping her. Oh, it's already 342, and I know we had to make a she had to make a decision on a lawyer by four, so we're definitely her lawyer at this point. Hiya. Oh, you're back! Oh, she's so excited. Did you find the lawyer? Which also, by the way, we offered you our, our, our us being your lawyer, and you said we were terrible, so, uh, yeah. Um, well, well, see, I, I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. <laughs> he was all skin and bones. That's not even close to the truth, my guy. What really happens? Yeah, uh, he did refuse to help. I'm sorry. I see. I've been abandoned again. Just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. D we're right in front of you. A be her lawyer. No, defend Maya. I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. I mean, th th that's what we were going to do no matter what. She looks horrified. Why? Why, well... Um... I mean, someone else is definitely the culprit. And she has abandonment issues, it seems like. So I'm going to say I can't abandon you. Oh, no one is as sad as a person without any friends. Oh, Ace Attorney, why are you hitting home so hard right now? Whew. Yeah, yeah, a long time. Yup, you got friends now. Dang. Oh, what is the sadness? Oh, that was his friend Larry. Oh. That's right, Phoenix. I feel that. Someone has to look out for people who have no one on their side. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. 
Aw, she actually is- she's being very sweet right now. Okay. I- I don't feel bad for her. Like, she- she- she is mourning. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Oop, missed my clicker. Right, thank you! Ooh, she smiled at last. She looks like- I mean, t she literally just lost her sister. You can't expect her to be smiling. One last question. You are innocent, right? I mean, you, you try- that, that doesn't build trust with your client, my guy. That not- you literally just said you wouldn't abandon her. Yeah, she's mad! Yes! Yes! I mean, that's more determined than mad, but I would've been mad. And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So what next? I mean, I'm pretty sure we go to the court now. I don't disagree. Oh wait, the screwdriver! She's the one who put the bug in the phone! I mean, we knew she was guilty too anyway. But it was definitely she did the- she put the bug in the phone. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything- can I go back to her? Probably not. Bellboy? Good afternoon, sir. I, I want to do like a, a waiter one for this one. Excuse me, you are... Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Oh, uh, right. I've just come up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, I believe our guest Miss May is currently using the, er, uh, facilities. If you're in no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. That is weird. W wait no, hey! Ah, I guess you're embarrassing yourself there. Yeah, I was gonna say, let's- Oh shit, he's back! Ah! Ah, I almost forgot. Yeah, he, he, he scared me too, Phoenix. Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. And we know White is the guy that um was supposedly innocent that their mother put away. We know that. Blue Corp. I don't know what Blue Corp is, though. Oh, uh, sure, right. Mr. White of Blue Corp. Where have I heard that name? Well, you heard White from, from, uh, Maya. That was his name. My sister told me. Yeah, who ruined me and Maya's mother. Yeah. It's definitely not a coincidence. Oh, wait, let's examine. I want to see that drawer. It's definitely from her loosening and putting the bug in the phone. Oh, God. Wrong button! Wrong button! Yeah, cause he was inside. Oh, is she back already? Oh no, it's the wiretap. Yeah, okay. Well, obviously, she she's working with someone. Okay, have we ever heard of chain of custody, custody and evidence? My guys. This is not how forensic science goes. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all this. I know it. All right. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial. That's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll get to this woman's bottom. I mean, you know what I mean. I mean, no one would blame you, Phoenix, but you want to stay away from crazy. Oh, bellboy! Oh, God, what was the voice for this? Oh, bellboy, still here? Uh-oh, time to scram. What do you mean, to be continued? What do you mean? Oh, 
Oh, you heard, there's been a lot of interesting sentences in this, and I'm like, this was for children at some point? I'm like, uh, okay. Oh, there's like 10 save files. Well, that's good to know. September 7th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number one. Oh my god, it's this guy? I've seen so many memes of him. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fey. He's Edgeworth? Oh my god. God, I don't even know what presumptuous voice I should make for him. I can see Riot's T rated. There, there's been a lot of interesting things here in Rated M. Uh, let's see. <sighs> He's gotta be like, The prosecution is ready, your honor. I missed that. The def I assume it said the defense is ready. Oops. So we haven't actually seen the murderer. I thought Edgeworth would be the murderer. Edgeworth is... I know someone who would like this. <laughs> I better not show any signs of weak... Or oh, he'll definitely be on us. Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. Oh, now we're doing opening statements? What was this in the last case? Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fey, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder. And we have a witness who saw her do it. Oh, is it the girl? The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin, then. If we may call... Oh, wrong voice. But If we may call our first witness, Your Honor... The prostitution, prostitution, ha, we see where my mind is. The prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. Oh no, his voice is coming up. I might need to get more water soon. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir, my name's Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. I should have known he was going to be talking a lot. Well, this is the voice I'm dedicated to now. Very well, sir. Let me use this flaw map of the office to explain. Oh, there's like actually a, a thing here. The body was found by this window here. And the cause of death. Loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. But you see, she died instantaneously. If she was bleeding out, she would not have died instantaneously. I'm telling you right now, these, these two facts don't match. I mean, for this game, they might. The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hand, sir. <coughs> The court accepts the statue as evidence. Right? It's a clock. Alright, so at least we have four plans now. What is this face, this downward look this man has? Now, detective. Yes, sir! You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fey, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I had hard evidence she did it, sir. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe. Please testify to the court about this hard evidence. Funny enough, my friend uh, has a dog uh, that he originally named Gumshoe, but uh, none of us could say the name, so it turned out to be Gum Gumbo after a while. So all I keep thinking of is him with dog ears at the moment. Let's see. Please test this hard evidence. Oh, uh, this is the witness testimony part. Well, I don't know if you'd be lying. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. Yes, for Gumshoe. <laughs> the defendant, Miss Maya Fey, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fey. Why? We had a witness account describing her. 
The witness saw Miss Maya Fey at the very moment of the murder. But she also said that she saw Maya answer the phone, and it definitely was not. It was us answering the phone. Hmm. The very moment, you say. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. I mean, he's not... What is this whoosh smack nonsense? What, what was that? Oh, someone threw something at him. She's throwing papers at that. This is not... What? Is she giving him little spark notes? I... I mean... You should know this as a lawyer, Phoenix. I know this is only your second case, but like, my guy. No, Your Honor, I'd like to begin my cross-examination. I mean, the only thing I would really press him on is that she saw it. Well, we know that. This is true. We know this is true, it's the other part. So this is the part I want to press on. Yeah. If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence. She did it, correct? Huh? Did, did I just say that? Me? I heard you. You did say- Oh god, everything went so fast in one second. Oh, you you should have heard me before, um, Aiden. You should have heard me before. I was, uh, making, if the voice was working, I was saying how what actually happens in a courtroom versus actual forensic scientists. I am going to go back through that, back and forth now that <laughs> my voice is heard again. But I was, I was saying how, um, they were touching evidence. I'm like, this is not how this goes. I'm like, this is not how cross-examination works. <laughs> this game is definitely not realistic at the moment. Maybe it gets better later on, but at, at this moment in time, this is this is a pre-trial hearing, so at least well, this actually is not a pre-trial hearing, but they did talk about one at one point. So I'm like, "Oh, at least there's some pre-trial in, in this." But I will I will keep pointing out the discrepancies. Exactly. What about the suspicious woman in Pink's claim was hard evidence? What? Miss May isn't suspicious, and she sure isn't pink, pal. I'm pretty sure she's pink. <laughs> exactly, she's a, she's pink, sir. That's enough, Doctor Detective. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid other than her claims, Detective? Um, wrong voice. Hmm. I, yeah, pressing can have his advantages, but it's also hearsay still. Here, you, in court, you cannot have something that's hearsay. You need to have hard evidence. So even him saying this would be stricken from the record. And listen, if there's a lawyer in the chat that wants to correct me, please go right ahead. Uh, my knowledge is forensic science. I was a scientist, not, not, not a lawyer. I know chain of custody and evidence. <clears throat> yes. Sorry, I got I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, uh, Your Honor, sir. There's something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. Why? Like, the judge letting you re-say your testimony is another thing. Especially when it keeps changing, like, nah, nah, my guy. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. <coughs> Let's see. It's Ace Attorney and nothing ever makes sense. Witnesses literally get away with lying. So the prosecutors are known to be competitive over this freaking- Well, so that part is a little true. Lawyers are very competitive. Even if, um... There, it's why you kind of like you don't know if your client's necessarily innocent or guilty, but 
in the long run, you want to win the case, which isn't always a great thing, as we know, seeing it from the outside. But to a lawyer, that is their job, which is why some want to be prosecutors, some want to be a, a defense attorney. Bro, there's so much shit here. <coughs> and this is the other thing. If she died instantaneously, why did she have enough blood to write Maya on here? That's what I also found weird. I'm pretty sure the killer wrote Maya to just to blame her even more because if she supposedly died instantaneously, there's no way she had any time to write this down. Lab test results show that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. I mean, that's easily staged, my dude. Like, where is the forensics? Nah, you're making sense. I appreciate that you're not spoiling it. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Alright, that is hearsay right there. Like, objection, my sir. How you like that? That's my hard evidence. That's not hard evidence, my dude. Hmm. Before we begin cross-examination, I have a question for you, detective. <laughs> Your Honor, why didn't you testify about this vital piece of evidence the first time? Dude, he forgot. I will give him that. Uh, uh, <laughs> I know I'm real embarrassed I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Like, I don't think he's a corrupt detective, but we also don't know him well enough yet. Try to be more careful. Very well, the defense may begin its cross-examination. <sighs> okay, so let's see. I want to get... Let's see. So this is the part I want to, like, press on, because she died instantaneously. There's no way. Oh, let's see. Forensics caught with- comes with my favorite detective, Emma Skye. I love her so much. You have caught me before being down bad for her. <laughs> Interesting. Alright, so let's see where this goes. Do you get a lot of cases where the victim actually writes the killer's name? Sure, it happens all the time in books and movies. Oh my god, sir, are you a detective? This isn't a movie. Exactly! Thank you, Phoenix. Ugh. Let's talk about reality, shall we? Uh, I guess I haven't heard of many cases, no. Don't you find it a little odd that the victim would write down a name? Especially a name of her own sister? Um, yeah, actually... Listen, it's entertaining to me. If you want to keep exposing, I have no issues with this. It just means that I have evidence against you later. In a court of law. The Phoenix Wright Court. Ah, uh, yeah, actually got a point, pal. Oh, wrong voice. Stop right there. The witness opinion on the matter is irrelevant. Oh, now hearsay is irrelevant? Now it's irrelevant because you can use it? No, no, bullshit. Let's see, hold on. Ah! Game, where'd you go? Uh... The victim told us the name of her killer. Okay, like, no. She died in- I'm gonna present this evidence and be like, you should know that this did not happen. Ah, I keep clicking. There we go. Order, order. No, but- That's right, that's what he said. There is a contradiction. There, the, the, the evidence. No, I want to present evidence. Hold on. 
uh, da, 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 tap. Because she died. Where Where is the autopsy report? Death was instantaneous. So like, should, there's no way. Yes, there we go. Thank you. How exactly are are that evidence of the statement just now related? They are, but they are. Yeah, they are. No, she died as. What do you mean? I did. What? No. No, I lost points. No, but it's true. She died as to take. I'm definitely pushing the wrong thing. Before she died, but she death was instantaneous. It's got to be this one. Like, do you get a lot of? Oh no, this is what I just did. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Skip, skip, skip. I made a mistake. Mistakes were made. Please don't put my points down. Please just be a repeat. Mistakes were made. Oh, thank God I didn't leave points for that. Well, here's the thing. I understand, like, where the evidence is wrong. Because, like, if she died instantaneously, there's no way she wrote that note. I gotta find the sentence that reveals that, though. And that is where this problem comes in. Because he examined the scene. So that's the thing. She couldn't have wrote it clearly in blood. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that. Okay, I know the blood was the victims, but anyone could do that. I already tried that. What am I missing here? <laughs> you don't have to tell me the answer. Let's see how badly I screw up. Like, is there another piece of evidence that I should be using? I definitely think I should be pre oh, go back. Should I press this one? No, that's just gonna go back to he knows that. The murderer! The killer! Really? That was the one I had to choose? Yeah, that would probably be a smart decision to save before I do certain decisions. That That is a good idea that I should start implementing. She was framed. Hold on. If that's the case, where's your evidence? The, the, we have evidence, my dude! Phoenix, Phoenix, I need you to get your stuff together right now. Those without evidence shouldn't open their mouths, Mr. Wright. Yeah, pal. D dude, we have evidence. Present the evidence. Well, detective, tell us what was written on that memo you found. Ah, but we have evidence. Ah. Death was instantaneous. This is the evidence, but it was wrong. <sighs> Showing him this letter is not going to do anything. You know what I should do? Uh, the the advice I was given in save that was that was a good idea that I should do. All right, 
let's go back. So I feel like we've exhausted all of the options, other than when he first, after securing the suspect, I examined the scene. So let's try that. And did you find any evidence? <laughs> now, now, don't jump the gun on me, pal. Just listen, I'm getting to the good part. I got a bad feeling about this too, my dude. So, after securing- we asked him about this. We found the memo. We already spoke about that. Would presenting the note help anything? Probably not. Does this floor plan actually help us with anything? At least not at the moment it doesn't. Yeah, I don't see the contra- uh, Listen, I tried, my guy. Mm! I got in trouble. Before she died, the victim marked the kill. We definitely tried all these options. I, c I guess we'll try that one. Really? Are we gonna go based on if she's right-handed or left-handed? Dude, she died instantaneously. How is that not evidence enough that she wouldn't be able to write a name? Maybe I'm thinking too out of the box for this. The right hand. Ha ha ha! Nice try. Alright. Well... I don't think we asked about that, but I don't think that's going to help us. I mean, probably DNA tests. The, the hemoglobin? Hemogoblins? Hopgoblins or hermogoblin bobbin? I, I refuse to testify on this matter, pal. I'm no expert on blood tests. Yes. That was quite clear. You may continue with your testimony. <laughs> Thanks, pal. I mean, you're honest, sir. Detective Gumshoe. Yeah. I look forward to your next evaluation, as should you. Oof. Oof. I'm sorry, Detective Gumshoe. Right, where else I? What am I missing here? Maybe that? It's the first time I actually got, got pretty stuck on this. No, we asked this of course already. Maybe... Ugh. I'm gonna ruin my chances with this present. Hmm. I don't think this floor plan is going to help us. Uh, listen, I'm killing myself on this too. Yeah, I, I don't disagree, Judge. I'm, I'm kind of grasping at store, straws right now. Like, I've definitely gotten the results. But I am losing... Losing the facts right now. And I'm definitely missing a pressing... I already asked about that. We asked about the memo written next to the body. We were asked about Maya. We asked about the lab test results showing that the blood was the victim's. 
Also, where's blood found on the- we asked about that. So, I'm pretty sure we asked this one already. But we didn't get too terribly far. right there. And I like... Oh, profiles? Oh, I have profiles! I know how old they are now! Damn, there's a 10-year age gap? Well then, how old are you, detective? You're only 30? My dude. You're 64. 23. Alright. 24. Oh, they're close in age. Bellboy. Age 26. How do we even know his age? Alright. Hmm. You see, but... Nah. Hmm. Listen, I'm killing myself, Smalls. I'm trying. Hmm. I agree, there's gotta be some contradiction that I'm just missing at this point. I asked about after the, the securing the crime scene. At this point, let's try this again. Because I definitely missed one and I think I did it. <laughs> I could say Miss May. But, like, we don't got any proof Miss May did it unless we're trying to throw her under a bus of some sort. I tried to kill her last time. Hold on. The witness was in her hotel room, not the office. Try pulling the other leg, Mr. Wright. And while you're at it, pull mine too, pal. I wrote the killer last time. Well, detective, tell us what was written on that memo you found. Okay, well... We tried that one. We tried that. We could try pressing on this one. Just, just going through the options at this point. proof do you have that Maya did it? Okay, but that doesn't mean Maya did it. And we already had him... We asked the, fi the finger one. I know that one. This is when he couldn't say that he wore hemoglobin. Yeah, these are the hemoglobin ones. Oof. We did the finger one. So, let's try this one. I think I did this one already, but at this point... Yeah, this is when he were like, dude, you don't know the difference between reality. So then, it definitely, I have to say something. So it's definitely the second option, because it's the only one that gives me any actual options. So let's press him on this one again. So I said Miss May. I'm pretty sure I said the killer the first time, but we're gonna try that again.
So, uh, do I need to show evidence at that point? But I can't even bring evidence up. Unless I'm supposed to... Oh, am I supposed to show the wiretap? So let's try this one again. Blame Miss May and give evidence of the wiretapping. So can I like reveal a piece of evidence at that point or should I just give it to them? So I'm gonna just show evidence at that point. So maybe I can just bring evidence. No! No! It's definitely something so obvious. I'm glad I listened to the save thing before. What else could I possibly present? <laughs> yes, yes, the answer is very simple. Yeah, I figured it is. Is there something on the phone? You say it's obvious, uh, but um, I don't, I don't know about that. It probably is really obvious, and I'm thinking of, I'm stuck on this concept of the death was instantaneous. I definitely already presented this, so it can't be that. Presenting the phone isn't going to do anything. Broken glass won't do anything. I don't think. The, the statue's gonna do nothing. I presented this already. I don't think presenting the note's gonna help anything. And the room is not gonna help us with the floor plan. <sighs> I'm in the right headspace, kinda? Hmm. No! No! At least I saved. No! They just end the trial like that? court so is this whole thing a pre-trial no that this is not what pre-trials are used for what what all right well we're gonna continue again okay so we know it was this option but we definitely need to present some evidence. We presented this, it didn't do us any good. We presented the note, it didn't do us any good. I really don't think the glass is gonna help anything. And the cell phone record really doesn't make anything worse. I remember doing the autopsy report and they, had, they didn't find it relevant, you know, despite the death being instantaneous. Hmm. I really don't think the murder scene helps us with anything at this moment in time. Go back. Go back. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, 
I the one who's supposed to rage quit? Uh, not my chat. <laughs> hmm. Let's just, let's, it's, let's try this. This murder weapon looks like a statue, but it's actually a clock. Hmm. <laughs> uh, alright guys, um, apparently, uh, we might have to have a, uh, trial for, um, myself, because I might have murdered one of my chatters, um, uh, to be found out later if, uh, this actually happens or not. <laughs> Let's see. It's gotta be... Press this. The only thing I didn't say, which seems like a dumb answer to me, is I'm the one who wrote it. Like, that makes no sense to me. And every time I say the killer... If I say it's Miss May, I need to have, like... Evidence. Hmm. I'll try the killer again. I want to present this, but you can't in this phase. But we do have evidence. Look at the wiretap. So what evidence am I missing here? We have tried the autopsy report. We have tried this. We have tried Maya. Pretty sure I tried this? I don't really remember. Maybe... Maybe he said something that has to do with the floor plan that I'm missing? Blood found on the victim's unit. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. But I don't see a contradiction. I just passed the right evidence. Is it really the floor plan? How? How is it the floor plan? No, I passed it. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made! All right, let's, let's look at this evidence again. Use the floor plan, I did Maya, I did the wiretap. I don't think it's the cell phone unless like, could be the statue before that. The cell phone, my chat is so mad at me right now. <laughs> the autopsy report is definitely not my, um. Attorney's badge. <laughs> so mad! <laughs> Let's see. Not self. <laughs> so it's this. No! No! <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. So, the glass? What would the glass shards have to do with his... his stuff? No! This judge wants me dead right now. He said he examined it with his own eyes. I already 
already did the autopsy. There's no way it can be the autopsy. It's not the cell phone. I'm pretty sure my chat will actually come out of the screen and kill me if I choose cell phone. Huh. Wasn't the glass. But I tried the autopsy report. It didn't work. I'll try again. I'm pretty sure I tried it though. Wait, what? What do you mean? I did this in the beginning! Was I on the wrong sentence? What? I literally said this in the beginning! Where where did I miss this? Did I just never submit it as evidence? No, wait, what? I, I did this! My, tra my train of thought was that since she died e instantly, there's no way she could have wrote the letter. So my first thing to do was give this as evidence. So was I, do I have to be on a specific part of the testimony when I submit certain evidence? Oh, I fucked myself over. Well then. Uh, the good news is, uh, I am not accused of murder anymore. My chat is still alive, but, um, there might have been a trial later. I, I wouldn't have blamed chat if you killed me. I'm sorry. Back, okay. Dang, man. Dang. So, I need to present on specific statements. Ah, okay. Alright, that makes more sense now. Huh. So, this game's a lot more sophisticated than I gave it credit for, for the, from the first one. Alright, well, we have learned a powerful lesson today. Well, we're getting forward now. Well, backwards, apparently. The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately. Literally, the things I said before. I hate myself. No butting your way out of this one, detective. Listen, I, I'm down for mechanics, but, like, they did not explain it had to be on a, a specific statement. And if they did, uh, I'm gonna deny it right here. Just saying, uh, I'm not a, I'm not the one on the trial right now. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have the time to write anything down. Well, on that note, chat, I am still going to be playing, but it is time for a bathroom break and more water. Uh, I will be back, uh, in, like, one, two minutes, uh... Literally be back in a minute. For now, you shall look at my waiting screen. If if it goes. If the waiting screen goes. I believe in you, waiting screen. There we go. Hmm. Yes, it is. He's a good boy. And you're a good boy. Yes, you are. You're the best little boy. Wanna go pee with me? Come pee with me, Papa.
come inside that people. Alright, we're back, guys. Hopefully, uh, that comes up again. Let's see. Can I be heard? Seems like I'm able to be heard right now, so that's, uh, that's good at least. Cool. Do, 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 do. Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? Oh, oh, we're in trouble for having this. Got it. When? Uh, we got it the day after the murder. The prosecution's point being, I have to agree, what is the point of this? What do you mean it's outdated? No. No, you cannot submit a second autopsy report. This is not legit. A second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object. But there is a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I received these results this morning. Yeah, and you're supposed to present them before the trial begins. Like, bullshit. This literally can make a lawyer's credibility go out the window. Your Honor, it's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write to Maya... He fucking bows. That is all. I see. Damn you, Edgeworth. No, no, this is when you say objection. Uh, did not, uh, there's a word for it. Um, <laughs> I, I can see this being the most memed moment. Cause, th cause that, no, this, that, that part, ob I object. I object as a forensic scientist. No, that's not how that works. Call him out on his bullshit! No! Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Something you want to say? Right where shippers love this moment. Yeah. I want to call him a sham, but I don't have evidence that he's a sham. So then, you're either calling yourself a sham or the detective. I feel like the poor detective got screwed in this. Um, and he's known. Uh, I mean, we could drive the detective's credibility down. But I don't want, I thought, I, the detective is a dummy. Like, he's dumb. Like, that's, this is not, damn it. The right move is probably the detective is a sham. <coughs> But damn you, Edgeworth. Detective Gumshoe, you're a sham. How could you give me a faulty report? Uh, I, I thought... Detective Gumshoe? Uh, I'm disappointed in you, handing him the wrong report like that. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Oh, poor detective. You are at fault, detective. This isn't going to look good on your evaluation next month. This poor detective. I, I actually feel bad for him. You cannot submit this to the re to report to the court now. Uh, understood. The court accepts it. No, no, no. By a blood. So I'm going to have to prove somehow. Hmm. Well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. I mean, that's it. 
I suppose... Blah, blah, blah. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes. Hmm. This isn't good, I don't disagree. This poor innocent girl saw the murder with her own eye. Now I can use the damn phone tab. Let the witness, Miss April May, take the stand. I sincerely think her full name is April May June. That's just me personally. But this game might be rubbing off on me with the bad jokes. I agree. What part of her is innocent? Oh, God. She has the freaking hand thing going on, too. Witness, your name, please. April May, at your... Did she, her boobs just twitch? They did. Uh, they really did. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, all right, then. Order. An introduction should not require a reaction from the crowd. I, I, um, I mean, that is, is, I understand. The witness will refrain from wanton winking. Aw, yes, your honor. God, this voice. <laughs> she has indeed captured the heart of, like, every man in this courtroom. Yeah, I, I, I don't disagree, Phoenix. Get some water. So down bad for her. And I was like, bro, why? There's no person. It's true. It's just boobs. Especially she helped the killer. Tell us, where were you on the night of September 5th when the murder occurred? Um, gee, I was like in my hotel room. <laughs> God, I hate this voice. I checked in right after lunch. And this hotel is directly across from the Fay and Co. law offices. Mmm, that's right, big boy. Oh, I hate this voice so much. Please testify to the court about what you saw. It was like nine at night. I looked out the window, you know? And then... Oh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Then the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. But that girl, she caught up to her and, and she hit her. Then the woman with the long hair, she kind of slumped. The end, that's all I saw. Every little bitsy witsy. Oh god, I hate this voice. And she fucking twitched again. Like, what? Hmm. Well, your honor. I see, it is a remarkable, solid testimony. I don't see a need to trouble the witness. No, no, judge. Do not get entranced by the boobs. Oh, wait, your honor. Yes, Mr. Wright. What about my cross exam? I agree. I thought the witness testimony just now was quite firm, didn't he? Oh my god, goodbye. Mr. Wright, I understand you were Miss Mia Fay's understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny faults in perfectly good testimonies. Hey, how dare you? I have to agree, how dare you? She was pretty awesome. Well, oh, wait. Ah. Yes, I'm doing it. That's it's not even a question. I don't even have to read that. She definitely has a weakness. She gets... If you, you overwhelm her... Also, his outfit. His outfit is interesting. Have you have you seen uh, uh, the personality right here? So... It was at, let me see my evidence, because I know I caught her on something. Um. Oh, we don't actually have a time of death for her. Oh, that's interesting. She did say something about, um, there being a struggle. I mean, she wouldn't have seen the struggle from her window, though, but let's, let's check the testimony. Just in case. Ah, go back. Go back! <coughs> 
Oh, nope. my dog's trying to play with the cat. Let's see. Hello, Renly. Oh, by the way, thank you for the follow before. Um, I did not realize I was muted this whole time, most of it. Thank you so much. Oh, it's time to bring the dog up. Wanna come sit in my lap, little, little doggy? Okay, let's see. It was the mousy girl. Then the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. She caught up to her and she hit her. So, she ran away. If it's nine at night, but the lights were off, she said. I believe that part. So it's the ran away part. Please continue your testimony. does have a point. Um, that testimony stinks. What? Miss May, I'm willing to bet that. I mean, we know she's lying. But I'm going to say she saw nothing because when they entered it, the lights were off. Did you really see the defendant at all? Uh, yeah, because the lights were off. Mr. Wright, what's the mean- You just like what she looks like. Yes, what is the meaning? Somebody tell me, because I'm clueless about this. I mean- God, I hate this voice. Okay. If you had really witnessed my client, Maya Faye, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. Wait, what? What? Well, we definitely got her on the ropes because she's doing the twitching thing. God, she's so creepy like this. This is true. No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis except for her. And I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. However, the witness testimony mentions neither of these things. I mean, that's kind of semantics, though. The testimony is bogus. But, but... Still, we don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the murder. She was, Your Honor. I saw her. And so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? Oh, God. Rawr! What are you trying to say? You mean lawyer? Rawr, rawr. I saw what I saw. I just didn't think all the trifling little details were necessary, darling. Miss May, the court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. Oh my god, the twitch, the boob twitch. Oh, did my mic get really loud? When I did that, I could lower my mic a little bit. Uh, it should be a little bit better. I hope. I dream. Did I mute my Discord? Hello? Oh, there was a weird static. Hmm. How does it sound now? Do I sound okay? Hmm. Alright, so it sounds like 
There was weird static, and I sound okay now. If you hear that static again, do let me know. I'll try to, try to find the source. Oh, God. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl. I promise. God. Your testimony again, if you would. Alright, well, she's definitely gonna slip up in this testimony again. I did see everything! I did! The victim, the woman dodged the first attack and ran off to the right! Alright, well, that part makes no sense right there. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her! And she hit her with that weapon! I saw it! I did! That, that clock, um, this kind of statue clock, the thinker, I think. Well, the, does the accuracy of my report not startle you? <laughs> I hate this. I hate this voice. I see. I only wish you had begun so detailed from the beginning. Please begin the cross-examination. Well, there's like two things wrong with this. Uh, da, da, da. Where are you? Not that. So, tab. Let's see. Ran off to the right. The things broke on the left. So, the struggle probably more so happened there. But I'm more concerned with the statue part. Because it looks like a statue. How does she know it's a clock? But you know what? I'm not going to make the same mistake as last time. We're going to save! I saved it? Yeah, I did. Good. So, we're going to go... So why did she- this is the information, I don't- why would she know all of this? Well, don't look so sour, Mr. Lawyer, you can't win them all! No, but I have a feeling I'm onto something that I agree. Let's press her about this. Um, which hand do I hold my knife in again? Kind of fucking bullshit is that? Right, it was my right hand, right? Oh, she's so dumb. Satisfied, Mr. Wright? Please continue. So I would definitely want to present the clock to her. But I feel like that might not be necessarily right. I also really want to present this to her. But I don't think that's the right time to do that. She was able to see this so clearly. No! No! Mistakes were made! Oh, I should have brought the dang thing up again. Let's try this again. I've learned what happens. Let's see. So this also still bothers me because... It should have been dark, so let's press her on that. Because the lights are off. Of course! I'd remember that spiky hair anywhere! Spiky? I mean, it is, it is spiky, Phoenix. The witness will refrain from personal attacks on the defense attorney. Oh my god, the twitch. The boob twitch. Aw, was I a bad girl? I'm sorry! God, the, everything in my power is dying from these this, these things. Very well, continue. Hmm. Oh! 
Oh, and her hair was all done up like a bun. So... I really think it's a tape, but I, I want to press her just in case, because it seems like pressing doesn't hurt me. That. She picked it up from the desk. I don't think she could see the desk from the window. So, wait. I gotta go. I learned my lesson. I have to go to the statement. And now I got a tab. Let me double check you can't see the desk. Ah, uh, you, you can kind of see the desk. Um... Uh... Because you could be on the corner of the desk, technically. I mean, I could try it. Let's try it. Yeah! We're learning lessons here today. That, like, I cannot think too outside of the box. Figuratively, of course. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you want to do more than that. He saw- so... You want to- maybe I can, if she saw it, ask her about the broken glass during the fight. Because there's no way she should have saw that. Huh. Oh no, go back! Hmm. So... Oh! Hello, child. So, let's see. Alright, you go down now. Go, go play with the kitty. Hold on one second. Hmm. All right, so let's try. We got to choose the right statement, and this is the mistake I, I made last time. So let's try to bring the recorder in now. No! See, now this is what I have to learn with this game, I'm noticing. I really need to learn the timing of when this evidence has to be presented with which certain sayings. Let's press her on that. Hmm. Well, we learned she picked it up from the desk. one. Pretty sure I already did the clock, but maybe maybe I did the weapon at the wrong point. So let's try this now. Yep, I did it at the wrong statement. Alright, I'm getting there. I don't think you understand my stubbornness, chat. Um... I'll keep going, and I will learn how these mechanics work. Like, I got it. I got it this time. 
Wasn't as long as last time. What you said just now was quite revealing. Revealing? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Naughty Mr. Lawyer. God, her words want me to die inside. You just said that the statue of the thinker was a clock. Yeah, she did take the mechanism out, so it's not a clock anymore. I mean, that's also, that's what I was, you can't look at and just know that. Er, I love these faces, though. Another person in much the same position as you recently called this a clock, too. And he was found guilty of murder. Order, order. Miss May, can you explain how you know this was a clock? That was bad. Blah. Uh, er. I do like these little ticks that they do. The witness saw the murderer with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns. Y yes, yes, of course. You with will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. I will not withdraw my... That is not how this works. But questions are all I have, Your Honor. And as you may recall, I've caught murderers with these questions before. I mean, that, that is sometimes how that works, yes. Well, only once. Fair, fair enough. Objection sustained, you may continue- what? Okay, good. Yeah, because I was to say, that is not how this works in a court of law. Yeah, the trial would have been over, because you- Huh? What? So, what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question, how did you know it was a clock? What the- that's- Because I heard it. You did not hear it from across the building. Yes! I heard it say the time. So you've been to the law offices of Fay and Co. No, 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 hey, I, I, I didn't say that. Why, why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel. Okay, that there is no way you heard that from your hotel room. I will never learn that this game makes its own rules. I will always question these rules. The law offices of Fay and Co. where the murder took place is very close to the hotel. It is not that close. Like, Edgeworth, you're grasping at star straws right now. She could easily have heard the clock. There, there's no shot. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? No. No. No, you on your honor. You can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because it couldn't have wrong. I mean, that's true. It couldn't have wrong. There was nothing in it for it to ring. Your Honor, members of the court, it is inconceivable that the clock in question rang. I mean, it's empty. It's not broken, so I would say it's empty. That clock is missing its clockwork. Oh, she's gonna do the twitchy eye thing again? Uh, how, how could you possibly? Just take a look, right now. Oh. See anything interesting, Your Honor? I wonder if Edgeworth tampered with the evidence. It is as the defense says. This clock is missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. Yeah, we figured that out, my dude. Mr. Wright, would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It is as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Oh, look at the little twitchy cat face. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar. F fat? Well, Miss May? You tisk tisk. Yeah, what? Quite a show you've put on for us, Mr. Wright. I mean, it, in, in a court of law, both sides are supposed to be able to examine the evidence to some degree. So yes, he should know. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty, as you say. It can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clockwork removed? If it was after the witness heard the clock, then there is no contradiction. 
Hmm. That's fair. Hmm, that's true. That is a pot. I agree on that one. The clock might have been emptied after she heard it. And that is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright, can you prove when the clockwork was removed? Ho oh, ho, impossible, of course. I ha- You do have proof? Oh wait, we do have proof because of the cell phone messages. That's how we knew the clockwork was removed, which was at 9 a.m. So it was way before the murder. Because he doesn't know that we have the cell phone record because the detective couldn't figure out how to use the damn cell phone. Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence that proves when the clockwork was removed. There we go. Present that. Take that. That's a new one. Ooh, I like this music. Take a look at that. Hmm. That's a very cute... Really, Judge? That's what you're on? Oh! You have a girly phone? Wait, wait, wait! This isn't my phone. Listen. This is the defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording. A recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order, order! Oh my god, this guy's losing his shit. <laughs> <coughs> the defendant's cell phone. Th th this wasn't brought to my attention. You see, you kind of have to bring you lo lo the evidence beforehand. No, Edgeworth can't use that. No, 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 no. You brought an autopsy way after the fact. Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. Yeah, we learned, we learned that. You don't have any say in his evaluation, though. At least you shouldn't. I do feel bad for this poor detective. I do. Alright, we heard this conversation before. So this is what the conversation we heard earlier in the day. And that was at 9.27. Oh god, that beep. 9.27. Your Honor, I think this makes it clear the clockwork was already gone by the time this was recorded. Which was well before the witness even arrived at her hotel. Uh, uh, uh. Well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the courts? Just how did you know that weapon was a clock? W well well, isn't it obvious? I saw that clock before. Um, what store was that again? I, I go to so many- Well, that's a fucking lie, because we know Larry made that, and it was a personal gift. Oh my god, of course she fucking twitches. Oops, I forgot! Hatred. So, the witness had seen it before. That would make sense. Impossible! Does- Yes, I have an objection. The witness has cl claimed she has seen it before. But this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to this court, which is true that Larry made it. Well then, let's see it. Please produce this evidence that will prove the witness had not seen the clock before. I mean, it's it's a one of a kind made by Larry Bus. It's simple. This clock was never in any store ever. W what? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. Okay, good. They did keep the other one in police custody. I impossible! Everything is sold in stores! No, obviously not. Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Okay, that was a good comeback. Some of them have been pretty dry, but that was a good one. <laughs> oh? Excuses not on sale today? Okay, these are the fire comments I was looking for before. What is this? Her heart twists? Oh god, what is this face? What? What is this? Oh god, she is not pretty. What's it to you, porcupine head? That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it! Die! 
God, I hate this voice. Whoa, whoa let's let's not get ahead of ourselves. <coughs> This is a court of law, and the witness will remain calm. God, look at that face. Oh, God, it changed back so fast. Uh, oh? Oh, oh? Oh? Silly me. Did I, um, like, lose it? I guess I did. <laughs> God, I hate her. Yeah, very scary indeed. If we didn't see who the murderer was in the beginning, I would really think it was her. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? Oh, that face. Hmm, oh dear. Does the defense have an op opinion on this behavior? I do, now I can present the phone wire. Yes, your honor, allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because... <sighs> I'm gonna say she heard about it. Because we know she didn't hold it. The witness had never held the clock in her hand. However, she had heard that it was a clock. She heard? That's correct, Your Honor. There's no other way she could have known the thinker was a clock. And I could show you the proof. Well, this is interesting. Let's see it then. Show me evidence proving that the witness had heard the murder weapon was a clock. <laughs> take that! I like the take that. Have a look at this. Her in April May resolve of justice. Oh god, am I gonna love her or am I gonna want her dead? Uh, have a look at this. Ah, uh, th that! <laughs> I found this in Miss May's room. Also, since when did we become police officers? Like, chain of evidence, I'm gonna say this again. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. Miss April May? You were taping the victim, Miss Mia Fey's phone, were you not? Uh, uh. Your Honor, this is irrelevant. Uh, how? I'm not entirely sure that it is. Objection overruled. Yeah, I agree, my dude. It troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous. Does the defense truly claim that the witness was taping her phone? Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which it's not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Uh, yes, she did. Ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? She did, though. Can you prove that? I think not. Oh yeah? I think I can. It's simple. What? I mean, it does say it on the phone. The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock is... Yeah, it's literally here. It's on the damn phone. Okay, but listen to the conversation, you monsters. I agree. Liter yeah, she says it's a clock. Am I wrong? I, I... Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. Oh, that face. La, la. Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May. Shut up, all of you. What gives you the right to talk to me like this? You, you lawyer. Yeah, she's scary, my guy. It's no fair! All of you ganging up on me like this! God, I hate this voice. Oh, so I'm the bad girl, is that it? Is that it? <laughs> I am not doing this crying noise this whole time. Uh, 
I don't... She didn't do it, so I'm gonna say, why the wiretap? Why did you tap her phone? Answer the question. Do I have to? Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't tippity tapping er irrelevant? Ah, I agree, Phoenix. Miss May, you were taping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. I do agree. Well, this court does not condone the defense's tone of voice. He has a point. Why are you defending her? Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? Can you prove you had nothing to do with this murder, even though you tapped her phone? Ha! Huh, I'd like to see her pull that off. I have to agree on that one. Mr. Lawyer, I saw that evil, evil grin. You were probably thinking I'd like to see her pull that off, weren't you? Oh, that's kind of creepy. Oh my god, the fucking... Well, you're not the first man who's thought that, and of course I can and will. Way, I say, way! Oh, and I assure you I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. <laughs> okay, so the killing happened around nine at night. Why, that's just when I was getting room service from that sweet bellboy. Room service? Iced coffee, I believe it was. Iced coffee, you know, like normal coffee, but cold. If you don't drink it quick, the ice melts, and then you have regular cold coffee. Uh, ice coffee. Think I'm making this out? Ask the bellboy. I hate her. <laughs> Ergo, the witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. We never said she was. We never uttered those words. So, where does that leave us? It is my great pleasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been taping the victim's telephone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Her testimony stands. She saw the defendant, Maya Fey, commit murder. Hmm. Hmm. We definitely should call the bellboy as a witness. I think you've spoken quite low enough already. Why? What's your reason? Because I hold that the wiretaping had nothing to do with the killing. Hmm. However, if you agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. This is not how this works in court. If Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, then you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer, that she is innocent. I mean, I don't think she's the killer, so... What? And thereby you must also accept the verdict of guilty- No! No! What? That's not how this works. What? No! I- I don't want to give up. I guess I gotta accept that condition. It seems like a very bad condition. Understood. I accept your condition. Hmm. And he's obviously worried that I'm calling the, the bellboy. Hmm. He has so many ruffles on him. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. Oh my god, he's still holding the tray. Let's get the bellboy's voice ready. Yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be of service. 
That tea set looks, uh, rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. Very good, sir. Hmm. I am the head bellboy at the Fine Gatewater Hotel, in business for four generations. I believe I received a call after eight in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine on the dot, sir. What is this picture? I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready for this one. Oh, I like the bellboy. I didn't think he was, like, super sus. Let's see. I don't think that's a lie at all. Oh, let me save before I mess up again. We're gonna save in the second one just to be safe on this one. I might have chose the wrong answer for that, but we'll find out. He believes he reserved a call at 8 in the evening from our guests, which means there should be a call record. Absolutely, sir. How can you be so certain? I checked Miss May in personally, sir. Not only did I see her in all her stunning radiance, but I also heard her voice. And then I saw them and uh 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 And I, um, er, um. The point being, I remembered her quite well, sir. Yes, what then? So we, we, we know that they saw both of them. I don't think I have any evidence to to bother them at the moment. Let's see what else he has to say. You believe you received a call? So let's... Is this the one I just pressed for? Nine on the dot, you say? Yes, I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on the TV and wished to drink after she finished, sir. Nine, the time of the murder. Hmm. I think we already examined that one, but let's double check. You are sure it was Miss April May herself? Absolutely, sir. Absolutely? Yes, sir, as in, so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. How come you're so very certain? Well, when I brought the room service, sir, she, she, the guest, sir, sir, favored me with a, um, an embracer, sir. Embracer? So he caught them together, is my guess? Is that French for embrace? Yeah, I'm like, wait, what? It's French for kiss, sir. But not a French kiss, sir. More of a peck on the cheek. Why would she have done that? I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. It was a moment I shall never, ever forget, sir. It does sound very pretty. No, he mentioned somebody else. Yeah, we can't let this happen. Yes, does the defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Your Honor, I must object. The charade of justice had gone on long enough. 
Now, now, Mr. Edgeworth. All right, Mr. Wright, I'll give you one more question, that's all. Okay. I would say check in because she probably didn't check in alone. But the room service also, this is where we're gonna save again. Or I mess this up again. All right, so let's see. I really think it would be check in, but he did mention with the room service he saw somebody else. Bed making has nothing to do with anything. But I guess there could have been evidence in the bed making. I'm gonna say with check-in. Tell me about check-in. Tell me about when you checked in, Miss May. Oh, all right, very well, sir. My, thir my first thought was that she was a beautiful, beautiful person. She's just my type of girl, so it was a disappointment really. Oh, good, he does say it, that she was with somebody. I see. Excuse me, what exactly was a disappointment? Well, I'm not without charm, sir, but even I'd have a little chance with her lover there. Yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, er, rather, quite. Bellboy, tell us the truth now. Did you just call him Bellboy? Did Miss May check in with another person? I object. That was objectionable. Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. Er, y yes, I, I, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, sir, uh, er, you didn't ask. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Ah, uh, yes, quite, indeed. It was the, er, good... Uh, barrister there, M Mr. Edgeworth, who... Oh, he's getting Edgeworth in trouble. Oh, no. Ooh, this... You see, this is how you get disbarred. He asked me not to mention if I wasn't asked specifically asked, sir. Yeah, yeah, Edgeworth, you in trouble. Y you fool! Y you in trouble. I've done it. I've won. I mean, you still gotta prove the other guy did it, though. Miss April May checked into a twin room with a man, correct? Yes, sir. Then, when you brought them room service, you didn't see that man in the room. That That's right, sir. Hmm. Your Honor, we have just learned of another prison involved which may have been the murderer. In light of this new fact, I hold that it's impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And who, Mr. Wright? Who is this other person? Simple. It was... I mean, the man with Miss May. The man who checked in with Miss May. How are you shocked on that one? Like, no. No, no, no. Your Honor, as has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw blah, 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 blah. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. My, what a convenient little setup, but it's too late. Too late. I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. Yeah, yeah, you did. Upstart amateur. These accusations are ludicrous. Oh, I need water again. Enough. The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. That's all for today for the trial of my FA. Oh, so this is a multiple point trial. Of course, adjourned. So that's that's actually pretty in tune to like what happens in real life. September seventh, two twenty four p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number One. Oh, so are we skipping to Mr. Wright? You were amazing in there. 
R really? I think I might be your newest fan! Oh god, no. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. Then again, that other attorney was pretty cool, too. Huh. That face of his with his eyes wide and trembling lips. It sent shivers up my spine. Hmm, if you say so. So, what happens with me? I mean, you're still not proven innocent. Do I get to go home now? Um, well... No, I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see. But I got a great lead in today's trial. A, a lead? Oh, I mixed up the voices. That man with Miss May, he's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning her charms won't work everywhere. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir! I'm going to find out about this man. Do you think he was the one who... Maybe so. Sis? Don't worry, I'll find him by tomorrow, I promise. I'm counting on you. Okay, so every case is slightly, um, slightly longer. Okay. Nope, messed up there. In fact, there's only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. Really? That was the part that wasn't, um, struck from the testimony? I mean, that's hearsay, though, technically. I guess not. I guess it's very circumstantial in when that's gonna, that's gonna come to be. Hmm. Well, in this moment, give me one second to plug my iPad in, for it has died. All right, I am back. Just had to walk two feet across my room. Except for the first game. I guess we're gonna find out. I don't think that's up to you to set her free. Well, first, let me fix up my setup here real fast. Because uh, my iPad that was uh, keeping track of chat has died. So we are going to switch to my second computer right here to make sure we don't miss anything. So let's get that up and running real fast. Should take a second. <clears throat> the final case of Ace Attorney 6 is for eight parts. Wow. I mean, that's more a realistic trial right there. Let's see. Let's bring Twitch up real fast. I agree. Maya does not belong in this detention center. We must set her free. Nope, oh, we don't want no volume here. Let's see right here if this a little bigger so I can see everything. Perfect. Much better. To 
be continued. What? Yes, I would like to save my progress. Oh, my dog just decided to go chase the kitty. Let's see. I could I could see why they might. I mean, I I'm I'm sure I'll figure out why they say the third case is the weakest soon. Little demon child. So as you can see in the picture, Paco is indeed half a demon. He's going to sit on my lap for a little bit. Join the stream, right, Paquito? Good boy. Well, hello. Oop, lost there. There we go. <laughs> Uh, you can join the stream, but we don't want you barking. There's no dog roll at the stream. All right, you go in your dog roll. Okay. He loves playing with the cat. The cat has not learned how to play with him yet. <laughs> Let's see. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. It's really quite moving. Not you, you stinking lawyer. I hope you die. Wow. Yeah, that's a little vicious right there. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Oh, wrong voice. <laughs> no, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Please, you're scaring the security guard. <laughs> the security guard is scared. So, what is it you wish to ask me then? Hmm? I, I have to agree. How did she get this whacked? I kind of can't wait to meet this her boyfriend. I'm kind of curious about. Uh, let's ask the man part first. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Are Are you tired of this voice too? I don't I don't doubt you one bit. Hmm. Let's ask about the wiretap. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Oh. Welcome to the series with a ton of play. Six mainline games, two Edgeworth spinoffs, two period pieces, and a professor laden crossover. I apparently will not run out of this game to play. I am playing it a lot longer than I thought I would. I have not tired yet, but we will see how the night goes in the next hour. We'll see if my voice lasts this long, I should say. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Oh, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold, so criminal. Um, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, hmm? Creep. This woman is indeed impossible to talk to. I don't, I don't blame you. Your attitude. Asking a woman her attitude. Hmm, let's see how this one goes. Say, why are you so angry? That's a great way to put it, Phoenix. I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oof. Oh, that does it, bottom-feeding scum-sucking lawyer! But bottom I mean, there, there are fan fictions. Oh, wow. 
That's a lot of lot of time for in between games. Well, I have made her mad, and this pure for security guard is definitely flipping out. Do I have anything to present to her? I could try presenting her own testimony. Oh god, the face changed so fast. Actually, um, really hate your guts. So get lost because well, I'm not cooperating. Yeah, I know. I noticed that. Um, so she doesn't seem like she'll be much more help to us. I could go to the hotel and investigate probably some more. Ah, uh, welcome. Ah, uh, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the gateway rep. Gate waters rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be great for business, sir. Oh, whoa, whoa. Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. Oh, oh bellboy. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Yeah, I, I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream. I, I agree. So you are honored, guest. Please let me know if there is anything I could bring you. Does he have any? Oh, Miss May. About Miss May. Oh, her, sir? N not the boast to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I say. Do, do what? Suspicious. I honestly think the bellboy might be suspicious. Obviously not in this, but he's a little... Oh, it's allowing me. I'm sorry, I didn't know I had to add a permission. Apparently that word I had to add is what I learned. April may be like, yeah, she, she do say you be a bitch. Let's see, the man with me, can you describe him? Ah, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon my expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ilk. We both carry the scent of danger. Yes, sir, you are not that dangerous. <laughs> Mr. Psycho Bellboy, I have to agree. If you had a photo of the man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. Ah, uh, there might be a photo in this room. No, you are not banned, sir. Could you tell me about this hotel? I just didn't know I had to accept certain things. But I guess it can be seen, apparently, as bullying, since you said, you a bitch. But uh, you're calling the girl that from the game, so I could see why Twitch is like, no! But this is okay for today. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely! And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle. The Gatewater Hotel Murder Manor. Well, wh what do you think? Um, sounds great. So it overflows your tea set. I wonder if I can examine the room. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna ban you, but Twitch might. <laughs> Oh, I lost. I lost it. There we go. Oh no! Wrong button. One day I'll get these buttons right. Back. Back. I want to examine the room. Maybe he'll let me now? Ah! I beg your pardon, sir, but if you could please refrain from touching those. It's part of the decor. I call it the last drink before murder. We'll be famous, the talk of the hotel industry. My dude. Nice weather again today. I can see the fan coat offices, of course, but can you actually see in there? They're gonna toss. My dude, what? What, what are you doing right now? Just $5 will earn you three minutes of a view to, to a kill. Just kidding, sir. 
Yeah, I, I don't think, I think he was serious too. It's a simple bed, it's been recently made, nothing eye-catching here. Okay, what about this seam painting? Should that be a still life? Whatever. I already examined, I guess I'll examine the plant. All right, well, we looked in this drawer before, so I don't think there's anything new here. So let's move to somewhere else. Let's go to the, oh, his painting's missing. <coughs> September 7th, Grossberg Law Offices. Listen, have fun in chat, I'm enjoying it. Are we not going to mention the giant painting missing? Uh, apparently, you, you have bought the painting. Um, I feel like it might have been stolen. He said he wasn't going to sell it, my guy. Oh, there's a picture on the table. Oh, I'm examining things. Let's look at this picture first. DL6 Incident Exhibit A, DL6 Incident Exhibit B. Let's exhibit A first. I assume that's their mother. Have we seen this person before? Quietly added to the court record. What do you mean quietly added? I gave him a $2 bill. That's cheaper than uh, the $5 for uh, witnessing uh, the, the telescope murder. No, I don't care about the desk. Show me the other picture. There we go. His hair is purple. I'm pretty sure that's the murderer from before. Let's swap photos because I don't... We should go show the bellboy what this guy looks like because I'm pretty sure he's the murderer. Let's look at... What, what happened to this painting? I mean, I think it was Marvin Grossberg. Was it a fisherman? I don't think it was a fisherman. I know it wasn't sunflowers. All right, well, we did a lot of reading. I know we should definitely, ah, wrong button again. We should definitely go back to the bellboy and show him that picture. And then we could show her in the detention center and see her reaction too. That's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once, you know how it is. No, no I don't. <laughs> I have also read a lot more in uh, manga books than, uh, than actual uh, textbook. That's nah, actually not true. I've read a lot of science textbooks. But I can see why you would read a lot in Ace Attorney. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit, swear, affidavit, wow, I can't even say the word today, swearing that that's him. An affidavit? He is way too excited about it, but do have him write it. Because who knows, something might happen to this poor bellboy. Oh, he's way too excited. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Just, just hurry up and write it. <laughs> oh, I can, I have little mem, okay, cool. So let's go and talk to her. She's in the detention center. You again? Can't you take a hint and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. 
Oh, so it's my fault now? You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. Ooh, that actually hurts a little bit. Why would- no, don't shave your head, Phoenix. Well, let's present the picture to her. Click, please, click. It does not want to click right now. Look, I've said several times I'm not telling you. Yeah, that's the reaction I was looking for. Where did you... That's the reaction. This is him, isn't it? What? Who? A uh, when? Why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room last room the night of the murder. No, no, that's that's not right. Yeah, nice try. D do you have any proof that was him? Hmm. Yeah, proof. Show me proof. Yeah, I have proof. I got the bellboy's affidavit. What's that? The bellboy's affidavit. It tells us everything he saw, such as the man you checked in with. Who was most definitely this guy. Why would I ease her fears? I would push her hard. No use playing dumb. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. What? Even though he should have been witness to murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. Oh, fine. I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. It did feel good. Why are you pumping your fists in the air? Of course, he would do it in front of everybody. Now tell me about the man you are with. That man, he's my boss. Red, white. Oh, that's why they said red before. The president of the information gathering conglomerate of Blue Corp. Red, white. Information gathering? Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Hmm. So this is the man that was with you the night of the murder? Well, I remember they said red, white, and blue. I do remember that. I'm... I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? There was another paper that said something about Blue, Blue Corp. Dude, there's so many puns. Oh, that was it. He had a message for her. God, what was that message I was supposed to give her? And it was from Blue Corp. Ah, I don't remember what the message was. Oh, what was that message? Why did I just court the affidavit? Fine, whatever. All right, well, I've talked enough to her. Oh, I can go to Blue Corp. Ooh, ooh, spicy. Oh, the painting! What is this fucking desk? What is this weird-ass desk? There's so many puns. Well, we're at Blue Corp's office, so let's see. Yeah, right? It, it really is surreal decor right here. Welcome! Please furnish me with the title of your personage. What is these words? Oh god, this fake. What is this look right here? Your name? What's your name? I was just incorrigibly asking the title that you go by. Um, Wright. Phoenix Wright. Mr. Wright, is it? I see. Splendiferious. I don't even think that's a word. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giantesque blah, 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 giantesque vocabulary. You would like this desk. Whew. 
Whew. Uh, a lot of things, apparently. Um, I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp, you know, corporate expansion official. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the wordily chat. Hey, I take offense to that, at personally. Listen, Asaid has, has, may have issues speaking, but I will find you guilty. He is indeed a fruitcake. Hmm, let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? I'm not sure what voice to do for him. He's very, like, spectacular. That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yeah, uh, yeah, it is. I don't know, she was pretty bad, too. Hmm, let's talk about your Blue Corp company first. Ah, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future, you might say. We are the future. Sell information. In just 10 years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Well, we know he had an issue with the mother. And his father was probably wrongly accused, if not himself. So I guess he's in information? Ah, uh, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the I mean, yeah, we. I think we figured out it was named after the color blue. I, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, named it so. Yeah, I could, I could see that. And why, you ask? Because I like the color- I hate this man. Fantabolistic, is it not? This cannot be a word. Hold on, hold on, folks. This is this is what, what Google's for. Like, my vocabulary ain't that strong, but, like, there is no way this is a word. Fan? T-A-B-U-L I-S-T Yeah, this is not a real word. It is slang. All right, I feel better about myself in some degree. So let's ask him about Miss May. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct, she was my secretariat. What a shock it was to hear what she had done. What she had done, you mean the wiretap? Indeed, she is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job, the job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties, but I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. Yeah, I don't believe that for, for shit. It is ineffable that she would do this. So, yeah, it's just definitely he's trying to make her the scapegoat. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say I seldom pay attention to the mundane details of such a time and a place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. Oh god, this is freaking like from Goofy Movie, that song. Still, Mr. White, the hotel boy, boy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. Yeah, what well, you got to say to that? No matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases, I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. I mean, he's not... Not entirely wrong on that. <laughs> Mr. White Walter Wright, Breaking Bad. I still gotta watch Breaking Bad at some point. If this is true. I mean, I wouldn't... I, I'm pretty sure the pro, uh, prosecution was being pretty cocky with this one. I mean, that's true, but they maybe they were afraid the bellboy would admit that he wasn't in the room. They are mere toys, playthings for my amusement. Oh, there's something that's been bothering me. I really am bothered by this painting. Yes, what might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. Hmm. I kind of want to just like... I don't want to tell him I've seen it before. Let's go with it's gorgeous first. Magnificent... These are words. Magnificitarius, isn't it? Yeah. 
Now, sometimes small talk works. I guess not in this case. I'm gonna say, when did you get it? You forgot, I see. I've seen that painting before. Yesterday, in fact. Why do I find that painting here today? Mr. Wrong, was it? That, that's not even close to my name. Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, a lawyer? No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Silch. Zippo. Nada. Just like that sorry excuse for attorney Grunenberg, so you admit that you know him. Oh shit, he punched me! Ah! Uh, what? Need my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. I mean, that control is possible. Fight him. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life clearly for personal profit. Go now, skedaddle! There is nothing more to discuss. I don't even want to show him evidence because, like, he could just rip up my evidence. Let's go back to Grossenberg's office, see if he's even in there. Oh, he is in there. Ahem! Jumping Jehoshaphats! Oh, you. What's wrong? You look so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. Kind of mean, Phoenix. <laughs> I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Definitely something's bothering him. Let's talk, let's get to the point with Mr. Wright. So I paid Blue Corp a visit. Uh, oh, I see. Mr. Grossenberg. I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh? What is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... I mean... I'm gonna go with the big painting first. I don't know why this painting bothers me so much. Mr. Grossberg, sir, there was a giant painting hanging right there the other day. Was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with. Well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp. Red White's office. So, you, I mean, it's kind of hard not to notice, like, the six-foot painting. I suppose, I, yeah, it is a large painting. This is true. C connected, you say? Yes, and I know what it is. I mean, he's definitely... Sheer lovers. I want to choose that option. That's definitely not right, but I want to. He's definitely blackmailing you. Mr. Wright has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail. I think that painting is fairly gaudy proof. It is a gaudy painting. Very well. This may be the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest so I can finally rest easy again. After all, you are me as understudy. Perhaps it was fate. Yeah, what, what are you talking about, my dude? Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. I mean, we figured that out. He fucking punched me. Does nobody look at the probably black eye I have? Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. I've been paying them for 15 years now. That's a long time. But let's see, 15 years? And the original court case was 10 years ago, I think? I mean, I, that's the name on the back of photographs. So probably have to do with the mother. As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. I mean, isn't he destroying you anyway? It's hard for me to tell you this, my boy. 
but a rustling red white would be nigh, nigh unpossible. Impossible. Blah, blah, blah. Impossible. Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. Wh what you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. I mean, definitely. So, let's talk about the DL6 incident. So what is the DL6 incident? It's definitely the one that has to do with her mother. I mean, we figured that part out. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium, a spirit medium. I mean, it's, it's the mother. Her, na her name was Misty. Her name was Misty Fay. Fay. I mean, yeah. Indeed, she was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police, and she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. Yeah, Mia told us about Maya told us about this the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her of her wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. Oh, well, that, that's new information. The DL6 incident. I, I, I really think the DL is down low, honestly. So, we know why he refused. Why did you refuse to request for defense? I think I have a right to know. A right, Mr. Wright? No, no. I'm sorry. It's just, I need more time to think about it, my boy. I mean, we, we, we definitely know what it is. Let's look at today's trial. So you came to see the trial? Yes, yes I did. Something was bothering me all last night, you see. I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just me a sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for that girl. Why are you... Hmm. But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. I mean, that makes sense. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. Oh, I guess it was that guy. I, I told him. Oh no. Oh no. Grossberg, why? Because I talked, the police were marked far, mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it, and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I mean, that makes sense. I see. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. Yet, if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? Oh, so she was really after him. She follows his every move for years. I mean, that makes sense, considering it was her mother. Hmm. Alright, so let's go to her office. So there's, like, actually, like, investigation in this. Aw, Phoenix. I am actually upset about Mia's death because I liked Mia. We were about to have drinks, go on a date. Like, I was all for Mia. We should definitely look at her bookshelf. Oh, did they reorganize her desk and the window and everything? Let's look at the books. DL, I would assume under A to I. I hate him. Let's see if there's a, a record in this file that catches my eye. Oh, so at least six has some forensics. We'll see how this goes. Hmm. Should I take a look? Yes, you should read it. I have tarnished the Fey name, leaving only those words my mother... Leaving only these words, my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. 
Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold the information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on the threats and coercion. His name is... I wonder if that was the page that was ripped up and put in the clock. Hmm. So I'll get more forensics the more I play. That's when I'm going to really pick apart the forensics. So Mia knew Grossberg, but he also... I think he also said Mia worked for him for a little while. Maybe that was her collecting information. Grossberg, so probably something's in here. I would skim some of it just to be safe. I don't think there's any harm. Well, the suicides probably aren't suicides. Oh, that's fair. I wonder if I'll have an issue when I do the mic part. I guess I'll find out. That's fair. Yes, definitely, for sure. Why well, drove them all to suit? I don't know if he drove them to it or if it was covered up. Let's find the most disturbing one. All right, let's let's skim one more time with the, the final letters. Let's check T to Z. Just just let's get. Oh, so he took all of the W section. Oh, oh, Phoenix. I guess you'll have to water it now. You, you should water it. The sky is blue and so am I. Really, Phoenix? Alright, so let's go... Ah, wrong button again. We got all the information we could from the detention center. Maybe there's something else at the detention center I missed? Is there anything to examine in this room? Yeah, there's nothing to examine in this room. Why, why would you... Um, did I miss anything that's in the... I don't think going to Blue Corp's gonna do me any good. I guess let's go and see if I'm gonna get punched again. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself, but it seems the message has not penetrated your thick skull. Stop. Yeah, I knew I was going to get punched again. Why aren't we recording these conversations? You need not restrain your myth, my friend. It's okay to indulge my cosmopolitan sense of humor. I will not think less of you. Co-op pulling the wool over people's eyes. I've got to put him on the spot and quick. So, let's see. I should present something to him, but what's going to put him on the spot? Oh, I guess this would put him on the spot, but I don't want him getting rid of my evidence either. The suicide of a politician. 
he was embezzling, uh, blah, 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 embezzling secret government funds. Then one day, word got out, got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia? She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word, white. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. I mean, he definitely spied on him. He definitely blackmailed him. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all of the suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong, not my name. What is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Interphone? Secretary's office alone. Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. What? You're wrong? Excuse me? It's going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So the culprit would be... Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. Not my name. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. White, that you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify to- Oh, he's digging his own grave. What's this about? The Mia Fay case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quietude. I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man. What? Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer, as was Miss Mia. How dare you? I'll point the finger at you and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will def I mean, I'm a lawyer. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they can make, make even you look competent. Oh no, you feel faint. Oh. Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir. Ah, oh, but Harry, but that's not my name. Right, actually. Phoenix, right. And my friend's name is Larry. <laughs> right, sorry, pal. Butts was the murderer, right? No. Detective Gumshoe, I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Frey. What? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. Still not my name. Mr. Red, I know you've been making meth. Yeah, he definitely has done something around those lines. I can't believe it's only been a day, too. Gumshoe is indeed a goofy man. I feel bad for him. Nah, he's he's definitely a goofy man. I'm not I'm not fighting you on that one. White's going to obviously. 
An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Mr. Wright? Oh, Maya. Great, they let you out of detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. I mean, I'm also now on trial. Huh, now I'm, now I'm afraid we've switched places. I mean, that's true. You mean you... What did you think happened? Did you think I just disappeared on you? This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... Could probably use her to defend me in court. Hmm. I mean, she could also just cheer me on. I am Mia's sister, after all. Lawyership runs in our blood. I don't think that's how that works. Law for rookies, I'm concerned. I, I was kidding. It, it, it was indeed a joke. But, but, I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. It's just, just a piece. Okay, then come to the trial tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. It really has. Lengthy court procedures are no longer. That, that's not true. What do you mean? Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. This, no, no. What, what is this fast-paced law stuff that is, no. That's how innocent people go to jail. Uh, this, this man wants your life ruined. I can see it. Yeah, tomorrow it's, it's me or him. This really is the dark age of law. It's just been cheap to be continued. No, no, no. I actually should say it, though. Did, did I say? Pretty sure I say it. There we go. September 9th, 9.52 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Oh, she's fired up. Well, I guess this is it. Y yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Uh, Phoenix, look! Oh. This, this is another thing. The, the, the attorney cannot talk to the uh, actual accused. I received a call from the chief prosecutor's office yesterday. I was told that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. I mean, that part doesn't surprise me. So you're saying I'm going to be guilty, end of story. I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Alright, maybe Edgeworth isn't the worst guy, because why is he telling us this stuff? Why? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent. Oh, he actually feels kind of bad, it looks like. Oh no, he doesn't feel bad. He don't feel bad at all. I will defend this. Trilogy use the corrupt law system as a theme. It really builds Phoenix's character, learning to overcome the system. And Ace Attorney 5 uses the Dark Age of Law as a major theme. So, yeah. Okay. The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. I mean, that's not entirely wrong. There's no way to tell who is guilty. That is that. No. 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 Cross you out. No, no. 
All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. What has happened in your past? Who hurt you as a child, Edgeworth? So I make that my policy. Edgeworth. You've changed. Hmm? Phoenix, you know him? Wait, do we know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix Wright. He's probably one of our childhood friends. Phoenix? Well, court will be starting soon. What? But wait! Your de defense attorney isn't even here yet. They're not... I'll be defending myself. What? Why is this a surprise? I'm literally a lawyer. How is this a surprise to you? Why is she? She's up there with me. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I will be defending myself. Understood. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, today we'll, we we blah, blah, blah. today we will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. Why this wasn't? Well, that's because the judge is in his pocket. I guess we can raise an objection? Is that a smart move? I mean, we want this witness. Mr. Edgeworth, you owe an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Miss Maya Fay? Hmm. I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man, and besides, at the time I thought that Miss my Maze? Maze. May's opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. Fucking bowing. Oh, this is gonna be a hard one. He has his own damn podium. Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage? I'm getting like real Chloe Bourgeois vibes from him from like Miraculous. Like I really just wanna say you are utterly ridiculous but th this is a different person. Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my Locu locutions? Confuse? Locutions? That's a word? Name. <laughs> my name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. Seriously? What? what white? No. 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 <laughs> I am the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. Did you know the victim, Miss Mia Fey? I fucked up that voice. That would be a negatory. No, I do not. His face. Edgeworth is done with his shit already. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder? Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there? Ahem, <clears throat> why tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. White. You may begin with your testimony. Yeah, we gotta... I mean, you're not wrong. You're, you're, having, you're having a good time, my guy. Is he really blinging it up? I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Let him have it, Phoenix. I want to see his face when he gets nervous at some point. 
let's see, it was about nine, I believe. I was quite pursu what is these words? Pursu pursuifying or that's oh pers pursuifying? This is these words. That's reading to you some papers by the window. Then I heard the bedlam coming from it. Bedlam? What are these words? Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She, too, was flabbergasted, of course. Yeah, that's a real word. The victim, she, she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Hmm. If things occurred as you testified, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant. Er, I mean, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Ugh. Let me save. Let me save. Savey save. Save save. Options. Save. 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 Alright. It was about nine o'clock, I believe. I can press him for that one. Because I'm always absolute to ask the blah blah absolutely perfect, you know. You're not getting away with that. You are so mistrusting, Mr. Lawyer. So what was the proper term for secretary again? Anyway, Miss May ordered room service for nine. It happened soon after the room service arrived. That's what Miss said. I mean, so... Hmm. I think I should hold back on that one for now. By the window, you mean the one directly across from Fay and Co.'s law office? Correct, that is the one window you see. And there you were reading papers. Correct! The Gatewater is a businessman's hotel, and I am a businessman who had business to do. Hmm. What is a bedlam? A bedlam. Yeah, right? I don't know what that word means either. I guess I gotta look up this word. Bedlam. Bedlam. Apparently this is actually a word. Bedlam. A scene of uproar and confusion. Ah, a good example. There was bedlam in the courtroom, as there is right now. Okay, so... I must have been when you attacked, I assume. We see, continue. Your papers till you heard that sound. But of course, I am no snoop peeking out the window at night. Right? How did you see with no light on? I'm gonna just press. I'm pressing everything this man says. I don't trust him. Conflicts with Miss May's testimony. Miss May clearly stated that this assailant looked like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? Blinging? That's your eyesight? Oh, counting both eyes for- What? What? Yeah, what? D judge, no, no, no. I mean, not yours, we know this. And what did you do then? Listen, you're getting pressed for everything. What was Miss May doing at that time? She had just finished watching a soap opera on the TV and was weeping openly. 
If she was weeping, how did she see? Did you know she had been taping the phase off his phone? Irrelevant! That has nothing to do with the case at hand. I mean, it, it does. I care not. I will answer the lawyer's bold inquiry. You should not talk when your lawyer's objecting. Miss May was acting alone when she tapped the phone of this fay woman. You'd make a good politician, Mr. White. Ho oh, ho, I know. After all, I am El Presidente. Please continue. But wasn't there a message? Let's pray. Maybe he'll get the direction wrong. Of course, comprende, I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. Alright, the victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. Okay, she said she ran to the right. Oh my god, him in the Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. Did he say perhaps you could change it? So let's try the last one, but I'm pretty sure we're going to use her testimony against him for which direction he, she went in. So let's just press him again, just in case. Just mean impact. Ridicul- oh god. Ridiculosity. I think you need to brush up on your language skills. I definitely do after this. Hmm. So, I definitely think... Let's go... So let's tab present. Yeah, let's present this. Wait right there. There we go. Mr. White, you've dug your own grave. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left. But that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She's clearly stated that the victim ran right. Oh, it is simple. You have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here. That is true. And the victim here. See, this is what I said in the beginning about the floor plan, which is what I kept messing up. I was going to say, she had to have run to the... If the victim ran to the left as you claimed she did. This is, this is what I was originally saying directly away from the door. Oh, well, that wasn't my reasoning, but actually that's a good point. Oh, this is his face when he's, like, defeated. Very strange. I did see her run to the left, I did. I mean, as the murderer, you definitely did. True. Th th think, think, guys, he's the killer. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Miss May says right, and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? Well, both are right. For once. I doubt it. Or rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There is one scenario that would explain their conflicting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing crime from the hotel. Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean he was not viewing the crime from the hotel? If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? I lost the voice on that one. In the law office of Faye and Co., of course. 
More specifically, he was standing here. Oh, I can I can click things? I kinda like that. This is where he was. Look. When the victim ran for the door, if he was watching from his point to to him, it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. Order. I will have order. Anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? Rapscallions! The postulations of the defense are a distortion of the truth, Your Honor. I'm surprised I said every word correct on that one. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. Ho ho ho. You provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. Well, he does have them in his pocket. It appears I've been unclear, and for this I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, might I be allowed to testify once more? Very well, let's hear your revised testimony. I mean, you might be able to. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left. And then you hit her savagely. Sa savagely. That is what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. That is what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. I mean... Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? I mean, the autopsy, I think, has literally one blow written on it. You bet I will. I like how they even give you the option. So... I'm pretty sure. Does it really kind of take place in Los Angeles? I, I could see that. Died from a blow by a blunt object. M may have lived for a few minutes after being hit. Hmm. Let's, let's press him a little bit before we do anything. Fan stubbed to Japan, Naponia. It's confirmed to be LA in the Western localization. That's actually pretty funny. You Americans, always so impatient. It does not. Oh, he's not American? So what is he supposed to be? He is an American. Okay, I'm losing this. What is happening? Okay, we got that. Let's let's press him on this one. That's what comes before what happens next. You do speak English, right? Uh not very well, I do not. Please sit back, relax. I'll try to use simple words for your benefit. First she ran to the left, and then... And then you hit her savagely. That is what I saw. And hiding things from the court. The prosecution requests that the defense refrain from interrupting the testimony. Mr. Wright, you have been warned. What? Call nonsense with that. 
Wait, wait, I meant to question this. What do you mean next? Next it was come after first. I know that, Phoenix. As I said, she turned and made a desperate dash to the right. Stop saying, okay, Phoenix, you need to control yourself right now. But it was you. Mr. Wright, if you claim that is it was not you, then show us proof. Alright, so there's more here. This is what Miss May saw. So each of you saw different parts. Absolutely, that's right, of course. Yeah, right, where did he, he get this phrase from? Anyway, moving along. But he said they were there at the same time. So let's press him one more time. So were you watching both times? I suppose I was. And please excuse me for not testifying to this sooner. What do you think, Phoenix? I think we've got him right where we want him. He slipped. Let him laugh for now. I'll soon wipe that smile off his face. So, it's definitely the ending part. No, wrong button! Mistakes were made. What is wrong with me? Did I miss this twice? Percent. Push the right button this time. The glass shards still haven't come up. Have a good night. I'll probably be doing that after this case is over. Thank you for stopping by. Let's see. Hmm. Let us see. Hmm. Mr. White. The victim died from a single blow. Oh, okay, so I was right with the single blow. What do you have to say to that? Err, uh, yeah. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told this court you were absolutely perfect? Hmm. I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony. The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a ten minute break. Y yes, yes, quite. The witness is confused because he is lying. I empathically, empathically, empathically request that there be no break, Your Honor. Oh, good, like, the people around him are saying it. If the witness would care to revise his testimony. So at least the crowd's on his side. Mr. White, uh, okay. Hmm. Um, well, see, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. And then the next moment I saw Miss Mia run to the left. That... 
doesn't make sense. Something's wrong. But she dodged. Um, and then she turned and ran for the door. Then you did hear in with a single blow. Thwop. Hmm. Thwop indeed. All right. What is this man gonna say? My stomach, you see, it is hurting. Deal with it! I love it. This is almost over. Cross-examination, let's see. I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. See, that part doesn't make sense to me, because, ah! Oh, that, um, the glass light stand, which he shouldn't have been able to see. It does. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Then change your testimony to reflect that. S sorry, my bad. The witness will revive his testimony. Uh, okay, of course. A light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. See, I'm gonna press him on that because he couldn't have seen it from the window. Why didn't you tell us about this stand before? Why, me? W well, I was instructed not to- wait, one moment! Give me a moment to gather my thoughts. I am s so confused. He is indeed falling apart. Your Honor, please, I ask that you do not allow the witness to be badgered any further. M Mr. Wright, please refrain from badgering the witness. Yes, Your Honor. Very well, the witness may continue his account. So, no, this is, this is, he shouldn't be able, no, wrong button! One day I'll learn which button they are. Okay, time to get the right button this time. Present. Let's look at the floor plan, because I don't think you can see the light stand. Like, how would you know it's a light stand? That's what I think. Let's try it. Yes, I knew it. It was impossible for him to see it. What? Look at this. These are the floor pans to the scene of the murder, yes. Correct, Your Honor. Now look. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you'd be able to see. Here. Well. Note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. Wright. What do you have to say to that? Or, uh, or ridiculous licity, Mr. White. If you were in the Gatewater Hotel as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass light stand. So when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. And the only place you could have seen that from is inside the Fay Law office. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Grah! He is not a happy man. M Mr. White? M Mr. White? You, you did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor, I, I, Miss Mia. I don't think he's gonna tell us. That's far enough, Phoenix Wright. What? I forgot about Edgeworth. How did you forget about him? Mr. White. I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crimes now, hmm? What? 
But what? I said you should confess your crime. Ergo, confess that you placed the wiretap. The wiretap, I guess, yeah, that makes sense why he would know where the glass thing is. That's annoying. That's very specific. Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court, Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed, neither do I, Phoenix. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Miss Fay. What does that have to do with? Your Honor, the question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office, and by who? No, you wouldn't. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss Fay's office, am I correct? C correct, you are most correct, Miles. Get me up. I agree with you. Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Fay and Co. law offices. That is when I saw that accursed light stand. But here, the time on the phone. Yeah, explained gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand. At the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Wright would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. I see. However, it is a fact that Mr. White has been to that, that office well before the murder took place. When he went to the place, the wiretap. Well, that bleh, bleh. He could have seen the glass light stand then. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix Wright's theory is revealed for the baseless conjecture it is. Mr. White, you will testify to the court about this wiretaping. Oh god, this glitter. Ahem, leave it to me. I, I don't blame you, Phoenix. God. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the Fay and Co. law offices. Of course I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. Hmm. So you saw the stand before the night of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over by the sound. Yeah. It's hearsay. Correct, that is right. I see very well. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine. You damn right I'm gonna cross-examine. Yeah, good luck, Phoenix. I, I agree, Maya. Hmm. Beginning of September. Let's, let's... Do you, yeah, do you have proof? Miss April May knew the details of Miss Fay's phone conversation. I mean, yes. That part is true. Hmm. Was it really you that went into the office, or was it Miss May? Unidentified fingerprints several days old were found in the Fay and Co. law offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. He's already run a check on those prints. He definitely has. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the Fay and Co. law office. Okay. Why did you tape Mia's phone? Oh, there's a lot of objections. This had no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. That is when I saw this glass nightstand. I'm going to press you on that one. Why did you notice something as inco- I cannot say this word. Incorious as a light stand. The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such a beautitious thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. I would say I don't think there's a lot to press him on. 
Yeah, maybe we can bluff it. But what exactly can we bluff? Hmm. Can we bluff a conversation, maybe? Hmm. Let's save real fast. Let's see. Hmm. The week before the murder. Entered the fail office. Of course I had done so to place the wiretap. I'm a little worried that's as far as we go to. The time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. No more. No, Phoenix, keep going. Mr. Wright, are you giving up? Never. No. Yes, Your Honor. What? Phoenix? Phoenix, over here. Mia? Aw, did she take over her sister's body? Oh, I missed her. Oh, oh no. I like her a lot. M Mia? Oh, he fainted. Oh no, Phoenix. Oh right. I lost the trial. You, you, you kind of did. I was hallucinating. Yeah, yeah, th there was some issues. Wait, what? What? Nah, no, he fucking, he passed out again. Hey, Phoenix! God. There's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. I get it. Dude, she even opened up this. Y your... Maya? Didn't you know the Fey women have strong psychic powers? This is actually pretty cool. When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears that was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So Maya is channeling you, Mia. Oh, that's Phoenix. So Maya is channeling you, Mia. That's right, I am Maya, but I am also Mia. Now I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's what I came here to tell you. Really? You came all this way for that? But, but... We don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen. You've already won. Have I? You have that receipt in the court record, right? Yes. Phoenix, White wrote that- I mean, we knew this part already. We did never look at the front of the receipt. How much? A thousand dollars? On what? Oh, so she knew she might get mortared. So there's a timestamp on that. So he couldn't have bought, seen it weeks ago. And it was the day before the murder. Or was that the day? Yeah, the day before she was killed. Dude, she planned that. He said he saw the stand the week before the murder, yeah. Yeah, let's let's go do this. Huh. So we should have been able to see that receipt from the beginning. That mmm I call bullshit on that one. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Is the defendant rather are you alright, Mr. Wright? 
Yes, sorry, uh, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then let's start where we left off. The cross-examination of Mr. White's is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Hmm. Your Honor, please give me one more chance. I promise you this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. But, as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Hmm, that was a mistake. Alright, so let's find... So we're gonna present the receipt now. Look closely at this. See the word Maya written in blood? You're grasping at straws. Oh, you're grasping. Eh, close enough. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The, the other side? Your Honor, would you tell the court what is written on the other side of the receipt? Hmm. Well. A glass light stand and the date of purchase. Why, that's the day before the murder. You see, Mr. White... When you allegedly entered Fay and Co. Law Office at the beginning of September, the stand could not have been there. Oh, this man is defeated. Well, Mr. Wright, can't get out of this one, can you? No, it's imp oh, God, impossible. Oh, oh, he's losing it. Yeah, he's definitely losing it. Well, Your Honor. I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. This is true. Very well. Then that is all for the trial of... What? What are you going to say? Not to... Blah, 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 blah. Not so fast, Phoenix Wright. Eh... Warm. Yeah, there's no way. It is Edgeworth. There is a certain thread of logic to the defendant's claims. However, there is no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. Uh, it's not entirely wrong. Ergo, oh my god, he loves this word. I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. No. No. Hmm. Another inquiry. What would he... It might be one of those updated autopsy reports things. He is making up a lot of evidence. No, definitely object. Mr. White's guilty... Guilt is obvious. There is no need to prolong this trial any further. Hmm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth... If anyone is going to call Mr. White's trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether these new claims have any basis in factual evidence. Hmm. I see. Objection denied. Ah. The completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. Is it? Wasn't there a three-day limit? I have to agree with Phoenix on this one. Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course, thank you for your time. Oh, she interrupted. The witness will stay, Mia. Phoenix, read this note out loud. Mia, what is, what's this? Oh. Your Honor, if I may. You're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. Yeah, I, his life is riding on this. Like, it would be nice to not die. Oh god, where'd it go? There we go. 
I assume these are the suicide names. The memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. Yeah, it's probably the memo. Stop. Desist. Halt. P please, stop. Make him stop. H how did you get this? that list? Mr. White, admit your guilt. Right here, right now. Or else this list will be released to the press. I, I confess. I confess. I, I, I did it. I hit her. I hit Miss Mia with the thinker. Case closed, Your Honor. So I wonder if she's going to be recurring, Mia. Like, am I still going to get my Mia girl? But, like, it's through Maya? Well, I see no reason to continue this trial, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. You've done it again. That was quite a spirited defense. Well, definitely a spirited defense. There, there was spirits going on here. I guess you could say that, yeah, if spirit- that I just said, yes, 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 I agree, Felix. Hmm, well, this court finds the defense- hmm, rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright, not guilty. I do like the confetti. This court is adjourned. Whew. This one went on for a while. September 9th, 2.24 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 1. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again. But congratulations, you're lucky I was born a fae. I mean, I was lucky I was born a fae too. I understand this. I'm lucky I had both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me and Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. Are, are you living? I'm pretty sure you're dead at this point. Yeah, right? My time here is running out. Huh? Maya's powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. W what? No, there's still so much to say. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Yeah, so she's going to be re reoccurring. Ch chief <laughs> I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix. Can you come to the office tonight, say, 9? Th the office? I'll see you later. Chief, Mia! Nine oh two p.m. Well, we're two minutes late. Uh, being on time hasn't always been my great, great, great suit, right there. Yeah, I wouldn't blame you. I was kind of worried you might not. Of course I came. Well then, I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? Oh, this is Maya. Hey, Mia. <laughs> you should see your face. Mia! What are you talking about? It's me, Maya! M Maya? What, did I look like my sister? Look like you were her. I agree. Hmm, I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Uh, Maya, why are you here? Because of this! See, Mia wrote me a letter! Take care of Phoenix for me. Oh, that's kind of cute. Take care of her. She means the office. This office. Someone has to help with the new Wright & Co. law office, right? Aw, he gave her the office. It's his name. And who better but me, Maya Faye, reporting for duty? Wait, no. On second thought, l let's make this casual. Yo, Nick, Maya here, ready to get down to this. Nah, 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 nah. You don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? Hmm. It's a great name. Mia said that's what your friend Larry calls you. Uh, I don't think that's my name. You know what this means? We're partners. And this part is true. You know, when I think about it, it is Maya's fault I'm here now. But 
If it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. This is true. Right in code law offices. It's got a good ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. Oh, this is so No! No! Mia! Oh, my doll, Mia! Good luck, Phoenix. Oh, no, I love you. Why are you... Damn. Why were you the second murder? Wow, his hair really is very pointy, though. I'll always be here. Watching. Aw, oh, she cares. Right, okay, Nick, let's do it. Huh, do, do what? Burgers, dummy, burgers! There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on, time's a wasting. Uh, okay, w wait up. Alright, that was a good case right there. So let's save. Oh no! Did you save it? Okay. Alright, so let's go back. Wait, 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 no! What am I watching right here? Go back. How do you go back to the home screen? Wait! Go back! Okay, we can watch this scene at least. Evil Magistrate? Am I watching a cartoon in this? Only the moon knows. Exciting episode. So, the Dark Messenger returns. No, 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 no. Options. We're going back to the tile screen. Uh, you want to be great if I remember how to do that? T. It was right. It was T. All right. Thank you so much for all of you seeing me. My first stream. We had some technical difficulties, but uh, we got through it. Maybe like an hour or two later, but we got through it, and we lasted like six hours. So with that. Uh, I will be hopefully setting up a new stream schedule for next week, but I will be on here tomorrow drawing. Uh, I am actually just waiting on a schedule, um, from my job, so we'll see when I actually stream this upcoming week. It might be a little late, the schedule, or a little surprise this week until I get an actual concrete schedule. Uh, thank you so much for coming out. Have a great night.